All right, welcome to our next video on solving limits from pre-cal last year. Now, last year you learned a rule for special tricks. The first one you learned was that the limit as x approaches 0 of sine of x over x is 1. And you should have learned that the limit as x approaches 0 of 1 minus the cosine of x over x is 0. So these are two very common uh, ones that we just have to know, especially the first one. Now notice they are both indeterminate. Sine of 0 is 0 over 0, and one cosine of 0 is 1, so again we would get so again we would also get 0 over 0. But these are just special rules for us on how we uh, solve them. Uh, to solve these, we use we typically use something called squeeze theorem, which we are going to discuss in class in a later time. All right, so let's take a look at how we can solve it. So the main thing we need to know is just to make sure that these are the same. So if I take a look here for the first number 20, we have this 2x over x. Now notice they're not the same. I know that sine of x over x becomes 1 as x approaches 0. But these have to be the same. And notice right now these are not the same. So we just need to think about, well, what algebraically can we do to get them to be the same? And, of course, the very simple answer is to multiply both top and bottom by 2. As, as, uh, just, I'm just going to use ratios. So I'm going to multiply the top by 2 and the bottom by 2. And what that's going to give me is the limit as x approaches 0 of 2 times the sine of 2x over 2x. And now this is what I want. My rule says that this is just 1. So what we wind up with is just 2 times 1, or 2. And there's our limit. <coughs> for the next one, same thing, uh, except for here, I am going to get 0 on top and 0 on bottom. So again, this is our indeterminate. Now, it doesn't look like our rule. However, there is a corollary to this rule. If I flip it, what do you think would happen if I made it x over sine of x? What do you suppose that's going to be? Well, we can just use algebra. This is The top is really 1 over 1. If I flip here, I flip here, and same thing. We're just going to get 1. So there's our answer. So to solve this one, the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to factor out an x on bottom. The limit as x goes to 0, I get this sine of x over x times 2x minus 1. And this is what I want. That sine of x over x I know is just 1. So I can rewrite this, the limit, as x approaches 0, sine of x over x times, what am I left with? 1 over 2x minus 1. Remember, that's just 1. So we get 1 times 1 over 2 times 0 minus 1. And this becomes just negative 1 for us right there. For question 22, I can solve it the same way, except for this one, where I get um, x plus sine of x over x, same thing, I'm going to get 0 over 0. So again, this is my indeterminate. But to solve it, I am going to split my fraction. Two things we can do. One, we can... Multiply by the LCD, like we did in number 11, and that's a big topic. And the other one is, we can always split fractions if we're adding or subtracting in the numerator. So I can rewrite this as the limit, let me write this in black, like the color of my soul. The limit as x approaches 0, x over x plus sine of x over x. And same thing, I can simplify this a little bit more if I wanted to. x over x is 1 plus, and that becomes just 1, and we get 2. This is our rule right there. Very simple. All right, try the next one here, number 23. Ah, oh, this is a really cool one. What does that square mean? It means we're multiplying by twice. So I'm just going to expand it. I get sine of x over times sine of x. But notice I'm also squaring the bottom. That's just x times x. Of course, it's not the only way to solve it, but it's cool. Again, 
There is my sine of x over x. There is my sine of x over x. There is our rule. So again, this becomes 1 times 1, which is just 1. All right, now for number 24, this is the hard one. This is it. This is the one that makes peak grown men and grown people cry. I want sine of x over x or x over sine of x. Those are the only two options I have. Both those become one. In other words, but remember, these have to be the same. Notice up here, I have a 4x. I need a 4x on bottom. So that's exactly what I'm going to do. If I want to make the sign of 4x over, I'm, I need a 4x on bottom. So I'm going to multiply the bottom by 4x. But remember, I also need to multiply the top by 4x as well. Now, notice this 3x. I need a 3x on top. But I already have the 3. So I'm just going to multiply top and bottom to top by x and the bottom by this x. And what I'm going to be left with, I'm going to rewrite this. Ready? This 3, I need that x there. I got this 3x times this sine of 4x times 4x. I already used that x. That's gone. The bottom, remember... I'm going to need that 4x, but I'm going to put it underneath this 4x. I can rearrange in any order I want. I'm still left with the sine of 3x, though, so I could put that over here. So that 4x is gone, and what am I left with? Just an x, like so. Very easy to do. Now, let's take a look at what's left. I have this 3x over sine of 3x, which we know is just 1. That's our rule. I have the sine of 4x over 4x, which again is just 1. There is our rule. And now, be careful algebraically. I have these x's will cancel, and what I'm left with is just that 4. So it's 1 times 1 times 4 is just 4. There we go. That's probably the hardest one right there. For 25, this is our rule. This is our cosine rule. It says 1 minus cosine of x over x as x approaches 0 is 0. Notice on the top, I can just factor out a 2. That becomes 1 minus cosine of x over x. That's 0 right there. So 2 times 0 is 0. We don't see this one too much. It's pretty boring. All right. Number 26. Oh, this is a tricky one. People always forget about it. Remember, this is my sine of x over x, but there it is right there. There is my sine of x over x, so if I kind of rewrite it to make it look a little bit better, I can write this as 3 times x over sine of x. So remember, this is just 3, this is just 1. So we're left with 3. 27 is easy. This is just our sine of x over x. Remember, as long as those are the same, it's just 1, as, of course, x approaches 0. So these are the same, so therefore this is just one. All right, hope you enjoyed that video. Uh, I'll see you guys in class or whenever. Have fun.